What's up, guys? Welcome to What's on the Menu. It is October 7th. I am doing well. Will is unwell. His Padres took a game one loss last night to the Dodgers. They got a solid one innings out of my ex-girlfriend, Mike Clevenger, and then his arm started hurting again. Will, <laughs> let's talk about this, dude. How you feeling? We have game two tonight. Where's our, where's our mental at? Um, I, I was a little low last night, and it took me a little bit to go to sleep, but after getting maybe two hours of sleep. I thought, look, this is what, this is their problem. They don't have pitching and why they were so aggressive at the trade deadline to get Clevenger was to put him on top of the rotation. And then Lamette hurts himself. Look at this, at this point, that was basically a glorified bullpen game. Look, I was so happy he came back, but what were we like realistically expecting? Look, we were, we had the Dodgers basically stymied until about the sixth inning. You know, they didn't have a hit. And now the depth, I think, and the strain on our bullpen is it's going to show in these next few days. So if they can squeak out a win, they have Kershaw on the mound tonight. I don't know who the pitching for the Padres. It's a giant secret. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Kershaw on the mound. Kershaw historically has not been great in the postseason. So hopefully the Padres bats get hot. Oh, Let's score some runs tonight. Have some fun. Someone who is hot in the state of California right now is LeBron James. The yeah. Lakers are up three, one. They won last night, sneaked out a W, 102-96. Will, do the Lakers close it out in game five? I believe so, yes. And I get it. On Sunday, we were watching the game at your house, and Jimmy Butler had a career day in the finals. I don't know if he'll ever have a game like that again in the bubble, but I, I think it just goes to show, even with you know how slow LeBron and AD started, their death versus the Heat, it's, it's not enough. And I think at this point, we can almost pencil them in to get that 17th title for the Lakers and get LeBron as fourth. I mean, do you think the Heat realistically can pull this off? I don't, I don't think so. No, if you go back to past episodes, I told you Lakers in five. I'm standing by that prediction. The kid from Akron is bringing home another trophy, probably a finals MVP as well. COVID is not, it's still rearing its ugly head. It isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It not only attacked the president last weekend and some of his staff, uh, it now has attacked another key team member on the Patriots, Stephon Gilmore. Look, there was a picture right here that he was dapping up uh, Patrick Mahomes after their Monday night game, after it was already rescheduled. What is the impact of this? Hopefully there's not much impact. Hopefully it was a false positive. I'm not sure if it's a confirmed positive yet, mm -hmm. but – I mean, at the end of the day, he's going to have to quarantine. He's going to have to go through the process. Does it suck? Yeah, it sucks, but we all know what we're dealing with here. Just like I had to tell my fantasy league last week, we knew what we were getting into. We got to roll with the punches. <laughs> my fantasy league, actually, I think I swept all of my leagues, which is great. My bets on the other end last night were nice. awful. Also, you know who's been relatively awful on the field, but you're going to stand up and stick up for him? Dwayne Haskins for your Washington – oh, my God, I almost said the R words. The Washington football team. He has now been benched. Alex Smith, who has a surgically repaired leg that almost got amputated, is now the second string quarterback. How is this going to play out? All right. So big news out of Washington today. And I say big news for a reason. They drafted Dwayne Haskins 15 overall last year. They mm -hmm. knew he only had one year of starting experience in college. He only yep. played one year in college. He had electrifying numbers. His passing yards broke the Big Ten record books. I think he also broke the record books for touchdowns in the season as well. Yeah, guys, Ron Rivera took this job knowing that Dwayne Haskins was a quarterback that needed some development. Four games in, he gets benched and moved to th four, uh, third string. Yeah. Oh, and like by that. the way, Kyle Allen is now the starter. Sorry, yeah. I didn't clarify that. Kyle Allen is the starter, and Alex Smith is now the backup. But you make a good point. Yes, he had a, a, a fantastic Heisman-esque season at Ohio State that last year. Yeah. Granted, he had a ton of NFL talent around him. But I'll give you, you the benefit do. of the doubt. Look, there is just so much scrutiny going on with the organization. Not only is their owner almost being basically forced to sell the team with all of his scandals, they had to change the name. And I love Ron Rivera because he was a former coach of the Chargers. And he's a really good coach. And he's suffering from cancer right now. He's going yeah. through treatment, trying to coach an NFL team. That's way too much to handle. And now you have this. Yeah. I feel bad for them. 
I do to a certain degree, but I also think Ron Rivera might have some unrealistic expectations. Yeah. That team is terrible. The offensive line's pathetic. There's no running game. The only <laughs> wide receiver that can catch the ball is Terry McLaurin. Their tight end, I don't even think it's a real tight end. I'm pretty sure I'm reading on Washington Twitter today that he's a converted tight end. So <laughs> at the end of the day, what's our realistic he expectations? Is, yeah. yeah. What are what realistic talking? expectations? By benching Dwayne Haskins and ruining his development, what are you expecting to get out of this? I don't know. We'll wait to find out. Well, it is Bizarro World. Dale did a great job picking me up today. I was crying all last night. No, I really wasn't. I wanted to, but um, he left the show. I'll close it today. Make sure to follow WOTM Daily right here. Follow it. Go subscribe on YouTube. Go listen to our podcast on Apple, on Spotify, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all of it. Follow at Dale, at Aaron Dale underscore me, at Will Galvez underscore. Go Padres. Hopefully they can get a win this series. Go Padres. Let's get it.